Hey Tick, and we're gonna be checking out Espa's Armageddon. Really excited to be checking this out. Is this with the title track or is Supernova the title track or is it a dual title track moment? It could be either or. I'm just happy Espa got a full album uh, and that there's so much Espa stuff for us to check out. But I'm very excited to be checking this out, seeing what we are doing with this one. That's, I, I wonder if this one is a title track because you could have Supernova be like the pre comeback kind of moment or like a single release. And then you release like some B-sides and then you get into the actual title track. Um, that's what I'm assuming happened. I don't know. I'm behind. I don't know factual. Do never take anything I say as fact. Um, this is opinion. Uh, but yes, very excited. So you know what it like go. Oh my god, what is happening already? End of the world? Armageddon? Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I love already. Oh. I'm a ghetto. Oh! We're going with hip hop track? Okay. Picture. Yo, the visuals? Crazy. Bang bang chitty bang bang! Ooh! Oh! Oh. It's so good. It's so good. What highlight are we using, girls? Okay, what's with vocals this round? Girl. That's gonna be one of the best Giselle rap sections in an Espo song. Ooh. Ooh, it's so good. Look at them. Am I doing those? Ooh, what teasers were they for? The makeup is insane. Mm -hmm. Give them to Miss Ning Ning. Give them. Wow, I would have never expected an Espa song like that. Okay, the credits were really cool how they were like done in like a circular around them. Oh, wow! Whoa! Okay, yeah, that's okay. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? The song? I would have never thought that they would have like done like a hip hop track like this, especially as a title track for Espa. That was insane. And it really had like, it had that espification of it, which was genius. And like the balance of like the, like old school hip hop vibes that they were doing and like the espification of the song is the balance I want to see for them to do like a rock or a metal song. That would melt brains. Uh, my brains melted thinking about it. The track, yeah, she was, 
she was dope. Winter's vocals for this one, girl, stand out like I don't even know since when. Uh, yeah, Giselle's like little, it was only a couple lines, a couple bars uh, for the second chorus, or second verse, excuse me. But that was probably, I'm like, that's the best like Giselle rap section of like an Espa song like ever. Like, we need more of that. Like, can we lean a little bit more into that side of Giselle? Um, yeah, this type of track, very, very unexpected uh, from Espa, but like it all works in all the right ways. It is so cool. Definitely bringing something new to the table, because I mean, yeah, that she just different, girl. She different, um, and I like it. It's 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 like perfect. Like honestly, it really is, um, in my opinion. Just because I mean, everything. Yeah, yeah, because it's just like the main overall, like, it is, this is the top track because the album's called Armageddon. Um, the way, where was I going? I lost my train of thought because I got distracted by the title of the album and this being the title track. Um, yeah, I mean, just like the way they, yeah, it was just good. It's a great track that... It is so different, like, sounding compared to, like, the rest of Espa. Like, even any of their previous, like, B-sides, like, they do not have a song like this until now. Um, and it's, it's a slay. It's, like, a murder. Um, because it's just, the way, like, they, like, like, lean into, like, everything about the track is just, like, so good. Like, Definitely like they gave us like what you want out of like an Espa song with like Supernova like she scratched that itch But kind of like I think it was smart to release that first so that you get that like Espa itch and then releasing this one So crazy, you know what I mean? Um, because it it has like It is just so different from the rest of their tracks is crazy um, that like Bridge breakdown that was so Espa that was like the most Espa part about the song um yeah, their vocals were amazing for this one. Everyone, I feel like, has moments in it, which is really great. And very strong moments um, in it as well. The choreography, girl, the little point move is... She is everything. I can't wait to get a better look at this choreography because it... Yeah, it looks like she was rocking. Um, so, yeah, the visuals, insane. It definitely is very... There's... It's... Uh, what what was the comeback where they had those? Um, was it Savage? It was Savage. Like this. Oh my god, my brightness is too low. Um, like this sort of aesthetic for Espa. I was looking on Spotify because I knew they had it. This aesthetic, but grittier and like darker. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily like grungier, but it is very gritty. It feels very like underground. Uh, underground visuals. That sounds crazy. How do you even describe that? It feels, I think gritty is the only descriptor I can truly use right now off the top of the dome. Um, but, and it's really cool to get that sort of futuristic Espa, like, aesthetic that I feel like is so signaturely Espa that, well, they're not the only ones who've done it now, but that sort of, like, signature look to it, that sleekness of it, um, but, like, make it grittier and, like, darker. And that was so cool um, to get because they can't do like kind of like well I want to say like dark for visual is that even no this is pro well oh mm, uh, not in music video form darker visuals um, but yeah what they did to make it feel like it felt like very like grounded but like underground does that make sense you know what I mean? Um, and then to kind of throw in, like, again, that espification. Like, uh, what I feel like with those visuals that I just showed you that were from, like, the Savage promotions, um, and how they made it very gritty and stuff and, like, underground. Not very grungy, but, like, underground is the same way I feel about, like, the espification of the, like, this type of hip-hop that they were doing, but, like, also bringing in that Espa effect of a song, you know what I mean, that is very signaturely Espa sound, that's what I feel. I feel like they did a fantastic balance of having the song be, like, a specific genre, but bringing Espa into it, and the same thing with the visuals about being very ground, gr again, grounded isn't the right term, because when you think something grounded in reality, that's why I'm trying to use, like, underground, <laughs> but it doesn't, it's, 
words don't work in the brain properly, but you know what I mean? It has that same balance, so it's very, very satisfying to when you're visually hearing something and having the visuals also kind of maintain that sort of balance. The aesthetic overall was sick. I'm in love with it. Girl, I need to know what highlights we're using, what shimmers, what products are being used for the makeup for this one, because it was insane. They're, they look stunningly gorgeous in everything, but yeah, everything was super duper sick. Armageddon revolutionary if you would as for comeback um i loved it the music video visuals insane brain melting the cgi is amazing how dark they made it feel how grounded they made it feel was crazy um i really loved i again okay, grounded is not the right term to use but i can't <laughs> brain work um but yeah the visuals insane the, everything about it was crazy the song crazy choreography we're gonna better look at that one we be bet your bottom dollar we are. Um, so can't wait to get a better look at that. So yeah, this was a comeback, girl. What a comeback. Oh, oh, she, oh, I would say maybe game changing for Espa overall just because everything that they're doing different with this one. Um, but yeah, that was insane. Insane. I think my brain melted a, a lot of it. Go on to your thoughts and comments down below to that about Espa's Armageddon. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads are in the description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently play Spider-Man PS4 version. So if you could join me over there for that, the link's in the bio. Thank you, or not in the bio, the description. Do I keep saying bio when I say that? I don't even think I have a link in my bio for that. Um, down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh,